Whew, gonna have to check my hair, y'all. Looking good. So if I stand this way, all right, we're good. What's up, y'all? Sean here. So today we're back on the C200, um, testing it out again. Um, right now there's a lot of background noise going on. Just listen to listen to nature, y'all. Y'all can hear nature. But um, what I've got on the screen is I've got the display going so I can see that I'm not peaking, that my audio is good to go. It's probably going to come in mono again. i got to figure that out. But it looks like it's showing up in both sides. So I'm, I mean, it looks stereo to me or like mono, but like dual channel mono. Um, but as you can see, we're back at the railroad tracks. Now, these tracks right here are dead. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me get out of the way. You can see right over here, right about there, um, that is a big pile on and the tracks can't go anywhere. So I know a train's not going to come back here. It might park right here, but for it to park back here, it's going to be going pretty slow coming up to me. So, <laughs> um, but I want to show you guys my setup. And what I've got going on is I have the Canon C200. Um, I've got a zoom lens on it. It is a 17 to 55 uh, with a 2.8 um, aperture on it. Image stabilization USM lens. Um, and then I've got it on K&F Concept tripod um, that I'll be doing in a review um, a little bit later. Um, but it's a very compact tripod that kind of folds up into nothing. Um, and it actually fits on my backpack really, really well. So. The backpack that I purchased, I'll be reviewing that as well, but um, it is a wonderful backpack that I can fit my C200 in um, with the screen, with a couple lenses, with the Rode VideoMic uh, Pro, and I can even put this tripod with a fluid head video tripod head on it. So I can put all that on my backpack and I can walk around with it. Um, it's, it's pretty thick and my back's probably gonna get all sweaty but I can walk around with it. So I had to drop my kids off again, um, drop my daughter off at cheer, and I dropped my son off at football practice. And we were out at the same train station, but last time I did everything at the train station. And this time I am at a factory near the train station, um, kind of on the other side of the tunnel that you guys saw. There was a bridge where the train went under. This time I'm on the other side of that um, and I get a good view of the tracks while the train's coming in. Um, so I'm going to get a, a panning shot. I've already done the panning shot once. So here's a little video of the panning shot. Um, and as you can see, um, I kicked the tripod halfway through the pan. So I'm really upset. So I have one more chance to do it. Um, the train's gonna be coming in. Let me check my schedule real quick to see when the train's coming in. Um, So at the Martha station, it's coming in at 6.30. So right now it's 6.01. So I've got a half hour to do this little video that I'm doing for you guys right now. Um, and uh, I thought about doing some B-roll, maybe do some B-roll of the tracks, uh, like kind of walking along the tracks with the, with the camera. There's really cool railroad crossing over there, like a railroad crossing sign. Um, so I thought about um, doing some video of of the signs to get some kind of b-roll with the train um, and uh, yeah it's a pretty nice day out it's like in the 70s today well maybe it's like 85 right now I'm in the shade so I'm not sweating um, and even when I was standing over there in the Sun I wasn't sweating very much um, there's a beautiful sunset going on kind of behind y'all right now so um, I might be lucky enough to grab the sunset with my camera again uh, today but, um, but yeah, this tripod is, um, it's, a, it's kind of a small aluminum tripod, um, but I was testing it out in my office today and um, it's, it's holding its own, like it's holding the C200. Um, I decided to take the side grip off of the C200 and um, 
And then I also decided to set up the, um, I saw a guy, so I watched a whole bunch of videos where people were vlogging with the Canon C200. It's a big camera, y'all. And it really takes a lot of strength to hold the camera like in your hand and hold it out far enough for you to get in the, in the shot. Um, so I watched another guy, he used a monopod. So I thought, I thought about that. And then I was like, so I did all this research to find a big claw for my monopod. Um, and I actually have a really nice monopod, but then I was like, you know what? I already have this tripod. Let's try this one out. Um, and what this tripod does is it has an option for a monopod. It's a very thin monopod, so I don't know if it can handle this camera right here. Um, but it's solid. And then when I hang the bag underneath it, it gives it a really good firm base. Um, so yeah, that's my setup today. Um, I decided to do away with C log. I'll figure that out later, but I've been, that's been a stumbling block for me right now, shooting in C log and not understanding the loots uh, that I'm using or just trying to figure out how to get the footage decent enough to show you guys. Um, I want, when I'm on run and gunning and doing my own video, I don't have, I'm not behind the, behind the lens, I'm in front of the lens. Um, I want it to be simple. So we've got a shotgun mic. Um, I'm also gonna try the Rode Wireless Goes um, at some point, but um, I saw this guy vlogging and he had the touch screen right above the lens. So I can look at the screen right now and since the lens is right underneath it, at a distance, I can basically look at the lens but look at myself at the same time um, without like going over here or going over there or going up there. Like it's like all just kind of right there. Um, so I've been looking at the screen this whole time. So it'll be interesting to see whether you guys notice that or not. Um, now that I said it, you're probably gonna go back and watch and be like, oh yeah, he was doing that. Um, but I've done it in the past where you couldn't tell. So uh, that's what we're doing here. Um, so we have um, 25 minutes till the train comes through again. So I'm gonna do some B shots. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my outro here because I don't know once I start walking around if I'm gonna look this good. So, um, so yeah, um, I can pan around and show you guys over there kind of where I'm standing, but I mean, it's, it's over there. You can probably see it right now. You can see the bridge going over right here. And then I'm standing about, about right there. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, love this tripod, love the fluid head that I've got on here. The fluid head's actually off the monopod that I bought. Um, and I took it to camp. Um, and I ended up returning the huge tripod that I bought because um, it was, wasn't mobile. Um, if, I ever have, if I ever do like videography uh, as a profession kind of on the side, um, I might go back and get that tripod because it was amazing. But, um, but yeah, I bought a monopod that had the same fluid head on it and that's what I put on this tripod and everything's working out really, really well. It seems very stable. It's very windy right now, so you probably can't hear me over this crazy wind uh, because I'm using a really good microphone that's probably picking up all the wind. Um, I don't have a dead cat on it right now, so I've got a pop filter, but I don't have um, I don't have a dead cat. So we're going to test the, the uh, autofocus 
Right now, I've got, there's a little square on my face. So when I'm back here, I'm in focus. When I'm up here, I'm in focus. When I'm over here, I'm in focus. When I'm over here, I'm in focus. My beard's all red cause it's in focus. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in focus. So that was my little focus, focus dance. Um, so I'm gonna walk out of the camera and then walk back in and see if it grabs me. Boom! <laughs> oh, hi! So, autofocus seems to be doing rocking. Like it's killing it. It's killing it, y'all. It's killing it. Killing it. It's killing it. I love it. So love that. Hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for notifications when I put out more videos on the Canon C200. Drones, action cameras, regular cameras, all the good stuff, y'all. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.